Hello, in this video we will be covering uh, Achiever mass magnetic effect of current objective 2. Let's start with the first question. It says we have to find the magnetic field at the origin due to a current element which is placed at a position R. Again, we have to find the magnetic field at origin due to a current element which is placed at this position. So we have to find the position vector of origin with respect to the current element that will be minus r again we have to find the position vector of the point where field is to be found which is origin with respect to the current element which is at r so this vector will be minus r and according to the uh, white sevet law we can say magnetic field is nothing but mu naught i dl cross that minus r so it will be either r cross dl or dl cross minus r minus can be taken outside again the question r in white sevet law is nothing the position of the point with respect to dl but in the question r is the position vector of dl with respect to origin so it will be treated as minus r in the original white sevet law so let's start with the second question in the next question there are three quantities x which is e by b e is electric field b is magnetic field and y which is root of 1 by mu naught e naught and the third quantity is z which is l by c r c is capacitance r resistance and l is the length of the wire so we can see uh, this is a standard result for uh, speed of light again y is also speed of light and l by c r as 1 by r c is nothing but uh, r c is nothing but time when length divided by time will give you some speed so all these three x y and z represent some speed so they should have same direction so a b c all three will be true in the next question there is a long wire uh, which is along uh, having a current along z axis and we have to find that uh, few points on x y plane such that the magnetic fields are equal on those points whether it's possible or not the direction of magnetic field are same the magnitudes of field are same and field are opposite in direction okay let's have a look at the diagram so this is the current and the magnetic field will be along these points at these points in this direction so we can say yes the magnetic fields can have same direction so a point which is on x-axis positive direction of x-axis the magnetic field will be towards y-axis so the direction of fields can be same but we cannot say that the fields can be same because if we take the direction to be same then the magnitude will differ as we move towards the wire the magnitude will be more and away from the wire the magnitude will be less and if we keep at a constant distance from the wire the magnitude will remain same but the direction will change so at a fixed distance only magnitude can be equal and if we vary the distance the direction can be same so the answer should be b c d i forget to mention b also so b is also the answer the direction can be same the magnitude can be same and the direction can be opposite also okay in the next question there is a long straight wire which is having a radius r and carries a current which is uniformly distributed over its cross section we have to find the magnetic field whether it's maximum at axis so we can say the magnetic field is maximum at the surface and uh, it's zero at the axis so maximum at the axis of wire no it's wrong option b says minimum at the axis yes the field is minimum and maximum at the surface of the wire yes these two options are correct so we can also have a look at the graph if this is the wire and this is the cross section of the wire the magnetic field varies like this increases till the surface and then again start decreasing so b is maximum at the surface and b is zero at the axis or we can say b is minimum at the axis in the next question in the next question there is a hollow tube which carries a current along its length distribu distributed uniformly over its surface so we have to comment on its magnetic field so uh, magnetic field increases linearly from the axis no the magnetic field is zero 
inside the tube as the tube is hollow uh, we can say that the field is constant but that constant is zero so the field is zero at the axis so b and c are correct d uh, says is zero just outside the wire no it's not outside the uh, zero not outside the wire it is zero inside the wire we can have a look at the diagram also so this is a hollow tube the current is coming out from these points which are on the periphery so inside the wire till capital r the field is zero as we move outside the wire at these points the field will decrease so b and c are the only correct option we have in the next question there is a coaxial straight cable the central conductor and the outer conductor carries equal current in opposite direction so we have to comment on the magnetic field where it is zero or maximum the central conductor in this uh, example is assumed to be solid so uh, we have to find the magnetic field is zero at what points so in this diagram there is a central conductor which is uh, having current i coming out of the plane and there is a uh, surrounding conductor which is uh, hollow hollow cylinder and the current i is going into the plane of paper from these points which are on the surface of the conductor so we can say from 0 to a the field will increase linearly as in the case of a uh, solid conductor and as we move out there will be no field due to the outer conductor but there will be field due to this i of the inner conductor so the field will be there but it will decrease gradually so for r between a and b the field will decrease gradually so this is decreasing as r increases but as we move out the net enclosed current will be zero i outward i inward so the net magnetic field we can say will be zero because of the symmetry so as we move uh, r on r which is greater than b magnetic field will become zero let's look at the next question in the next question there is a steady current uh, which is flowing through the cylindrical solid wire so we have to find electric field at the axis is uh, zero or not as the current is flowing in the wire we can say the electric field inside the wire must not be zero it must be non-zero so but the wire is electrically neutral so field outside it will be zero so we can say option a is incorrect and option c is correct again the current is flowing in the wire it is not a case of electrostatics the charges are accelerating and so there must be some electric field inside the wire and electric wire is electrically neutral so we can say field outside it will be electric field outside it will be zero and uh, about b the magnetic field at the axis is zero we have already discussed in uh, this question number four that the magnetic field is zero at the axis and the magnetic field is zero in the vicinity of wire no uh, as we move out of the wire the magnetic field is present so there are only two options which are correct first is magnetic field is zero at the axis and another is electric field in the vicinity is zero we can also look at this e outside is zero but b is zero at the axis e is not equal to zero inside and b is not equal to zero outside okay thank you